This Weather and Mountain Report is brought to you by Bridge Street Ski House, conveniently located at the base of Gondola One. Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. So we're going to give you the details on the weather. For the we're also going to give you the long range, five to ten plus days out. Uh, we've had the opportunity to stay in touch with Joel Gratz from OpenSnow.com, and we have him up on Skype right now. We're going to find out uh, what his prediction is as a meteorologist. Good morning, Joel. Good morning. How are you, sir? I, I am doing good. As you can tell, I've got a kind of tropical themed painting behind me. <laughs> I, am in, I am in Florida visiting the family before uh, the snow really starts to fly. That's a, that's a good kind of a introduction to what we're going to talk about today. So I know we're obviously concerned because the weather's been really nice and we like the nice weather. Don't get any of us wrong, but you know, this is that time when we're starting to see the resorts pop open. There's been some delays on some of the resorts because of this unseasonably warm weather. But what do you, what do you, what do you see the reason for that? What are your thoughts? Well, uh, you know, there's not one thing to point to. Unfortunately, it's not that simple in weather. There are always multiple factors and we don't even know all of those multiple factors and how they all converge. But what we do know is that temperatures this fall have been five to ten plus degrees above average uh, since about October 1 and we've seen very little precipitation uh, so none of that is is welcome news but uh, looking at the longer term records at Vail uh, for about the last 37 years about 30 percent of the years get to this point on November 10th and we have very little snow in the mountains so while this isn't fun for those of us that love to see snow. It does. It, it's not completely abnormal, and it doesn't, most importantly, pretend a, a terrible uh, snow season. There's a. Oh, Joel, <clears throat> Joel's taking a quick break here. It looks like. <laughs> We're gonna check back in with Joel in a bit. We just lost him there, but uh, just to give you the details on what's happening with the weather for the day, um, there's sunshine out there all day long. We're going to start in the 30s, get into the mid-50s by noon. A lot of sunshine all day long. So it is going to be a great time to be around the, the mountains and nice weather to, for you to get out there and embrace you know, what we have for activities to do. There is snow in the forecast next week, cooler temperatures. Down the desert, it's going to be nice and warm. Early morning sun glare expected if you are traveling towards the west, uh, towards the east this morning and then towards the west in the afternoon. 68 along the front range, 50s and 60s over the course of the afternoon around Vail. Then as we look ahead with that five-day forecast, once again, more sunshine for Friday, sunshine for Saturday and Sunday. And then on Monday and Tuesday also, temperatures mid-50s over the course of your daytime highs around Vail. And low to mid-20s up on top of the peaks at, you know, 9, 10, 11,000 feet. So great temperatures for the resorts to be making some snow, which they are doing. And we'll keep you posted as, as things start to change. We have a great break coming your way. And then we have a great show coming also, a lot of good interviews. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to give the details on Vail and Beaver Creek's newest strategic partner, Exojet.